What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a car video, one I haven't done in a while. It's about to mark the one year anniversary of owning my 2017 Audi R8 and uh, it might be time for me to move on and get something else. Now you might be wondering why you've only had it for a year, this is your dream car. Well, I've gotten plenty of offers in this past month, like a couple offers of the same price that I paid for this car to buy it for me. So I think if I can get out of it, breaking even, spending no money, it kind of makes sense to do that. So we're gonna go a little bit over details in this. So this is a 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus. It is a one of 25 exclusive edition, so they only made 25 in this edition. Now, what does that mean? It really only means the color scheme of it and kind of like the carbon package and the stitching, but I love this car. This is like the dream Audi R8 for me but it might be time to move on to something else. Now you guys know over the past year, I've done a couple mods to this thing. I put custom wheels on it that are from Savini. I've lowered the car, I put front splitter, I did a full ceramic coating on the car, I did a full clear bra on the front end, and we're gonna be heading over to our friends over at Gas Motor Cars. drive some cars in order to see what's gonna be next. Now, are we gonna buy a car this video? Maybe, if the deal works out, and you know, that kind of thing, but it's really, I wanna start a series where I start driving cars so you guys can see what I'm interested in and what I'm gonna end up in, because they have a car there that is like one of the top high contenders for me buying one, so it might happen, but Gas Motor Cars is actually where I bought my Raptor, my Ford Raptor that matches this car, and also have to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Vincero Watches. So what cars am I looking at as the potential for the next car? Well, I want to go another supercar route. I'm not going hypercar. I'm not spending a million dollars on a car, but I want to go kind of to the next tier. Now, this Audi R8 is very comfortable. It's a great car, but I kind of want something that's a little more raw. If I find no deal or this car doesn't continue to get offers or somebody like offers me cash straight up, I'm not gonna sell this car because I love it. I'm not in a rush to sell it, but I wanna start looking and seeing what I would like. And there's two cars that I actually have kind of narrowed it down to, well, three now. So the first would be a Lamborghini Huracan Performante Coupe. I don't want a Spider. And the reason I say that car is because a Huracan is too similar to this car, whereas the Performante is a pretty track focused car. It's very, dry. it's a driver's car. And I just think how much more aggressive it is would be a great jump for me. Now on the flip side, I want to look towards a brand called McLaren. McLaren has a lot of good cars. 570, it's too, it's, it's too similar to this car. It's like the same kind of line. I want to go a little bit above. So there are two main cars and one we're looking at today, and that is a McLaren 600 LT Coupe or a McLaren 720S Coupe. Now, both of those cars are insane, but the problem is the maintenance on the McLarens. Now with this car, I have not had really much maintenance. There's a few things that's been in the shop for a few days, but like nothing major, like mainly because of me getting some paint stuff done. But today we're going to look at a 600 LT that is insane. It's a perfect spec. You guys will see here in a second. They also have a couple other cars like an AMG GT 63S that's tuned with like down pipes, crazy. They have a GT3 RS. There's a lot of cars, but the McLaren's the main one we're gonna be focusing on. So let's go ahead, head over to gas and uh, we'll get talking more. All right guys, we made it over to Gas Motor Cars and we are here to go ahead and check out some of their cars. Now, we're gonna go through, I don't know exactly how many cars yet, but the main one obviously that we showed you, I'm very excited for because I've never driven this specific car. I've driven some that are of the same brand, but I'm very excited. We're here. This is where I bought my Ford Raptor, if you guys don't know, and uh, see what we're gonna do. Mercedes AMG GT63S. 
Now this is a special one. It's got about $25,000 in upgrades from what I've seen. This thing has down pipes, this thing is lowered. It's got this crazy blue, I believe it's called the Designo. This is Designo Brilliant Blue Mango and Matte. So it's a factory matte paint. Now this has a tune, it's lowered, it has down pipes, and apparently what, 793 horsepower? 793 horsepower in a sedan. That's actually insane. So we're gonna do a little bit of rips here and get a feel of it. But right now in the car, as we're driving, it's actually pretty quiet. And one thing that this car would be considerable for is instead of having a car that is a coupe, you can't really transport anything in, instead of having an SUV as well, you have something that's the best of both worlds, where you have a little bit of space, plus you have almost 800 horsepower to the sand, which is ridiculous. And apparently the zero to 60 is like 2.8 seconds, which is like the same as the heart. So we have found a remote location over by the battery in Atlanta and we are going and getting all these shots of this car now. This is a monster, 800 horsepower out of a sedan. It's got police scanners built in. It's got an insane matte blue paint. This is kind of the whole package. This is like the car if if you need to have a back seat, if you need space and you don't want an SUV, this might be one of the best options for that. Now this one is done very tastefully. It's already got tuned down pipes. It's got Voss and wheels on it. It's lowered. It looks pretty amazing. This thing is actually changing my mind. It's a, it's a little bit different. I thought I did not think I was going to like this car this much, but this one's changing my mind. All right guys, so throughout this video, you might have seen me wearing my new watch, which is a Vincero watch that I actually teamed up with them for this video because ever since I got this new watch, I've been wearing it so much as an everyday wear. Now finding a watch that looks good and that's built to last typically will cost you a lot of money, but Vincero is here to change that. They want everybody with any kind of budget to be able to have a great looking watch. The quality of this watch is definitely amazing for the price that you're paying for it. That's why they have over 22,000 five-star reviews. You can just see how clean and simple this is. I don't like anything flashy. I like simple simple black and silver and this is just so nice to wear as an everyday watch for me. I love it. All the designs are bold and modern. I get complimented all the time on this watch. People ask me where did I get it? You know what I tell them? I tell them to use code Neville to get 15% off when there's no like big site-wide sale going on which when I actually post this video there is a crazy sale which I'll get into. But when there's no sale or anything like that code Neville for 15% off. Go ahead and check that out down below. This watch specifically is the Chrono S in black and silver. One of my favorites off their website. That's why I had to go with this one. So right now as I post this video Vincero is doing one of their largest sales in the history up to 30% off site wide. There are no codes or anything. It is applied directly at checkout. Everything on the site is for sale, like this watch right here that I have. Thank you again to Vincero for sponsoring this video. Go ahead and check it out, link down below. crazy one at that. We are in a G63 AMG and I believe this is a, is this a 2021? 2020 right here. This thing is nuts. Now I've driven a couple G wagons in the past, but this car is insane. Now the specific one that we're in is like a satin black, got some crazy wheels on it. And this is amazing. The headlights, everything looks so beautiful. For an SUV, I don't see much more than this. We're heading to a location right now to go ahead and get some shots for you guys. This specific one has a carbon fiber steering wheel. Now, I don't know much about the specs of these cars when they come out, but this new one, I guess it's past 2019, they have this new screen on it, which looks insane. And the older G-Wagons I've heard drive pretty rough. They're a little bit of a rougher drive. And this one actually feels 
feels pretty solid to me. So this car is actually painted. This is a Mercedes color, and Mercedes has a lot of great colors that are uh, factory matte paint. All right, guys, we just finished filming with the G-Wagon and it was actually a really good experience in comparison to what I thought. Now, is the G-Wagon gonna be the one for me? I don't know if I wanna go for the SUV for that expensive. I think there's better options like in the Range Rover world for a car for less, cause that's gonna be like $180,000. Whereas I'd rather have something a little bit cheaper and then two separate cars rather than like one together. Cause I love speed so much. So I think that's the route for now, but let's check out the next car, which is gonna be insanely fun. All right guys, so we are now in the McLaren 600 LT. This is my first time driving a 600 LT. I've got some experience in the 570. I'm sure this is a little bit similar, but it's gonna be a little bit different. Now, we have Nick in my car actually ahead because where we're going, we wanna have two cameras, and uh, so we're doing that now, but we're gonna be going for a little bit of a drive, getting some experience, and I'll be able to give you guys my feedback once we get to the spot. or do a little bit of filming in the car, but let's go ahead and head there now. guys so we just made it out to the spot with both of the cars and that was an interesting experience to say the least now i've had some very very mild driving in a 570 and that feels very raw it feels like a straight up race car i've been in some actual race cars that were nicks back in the day and the way that it feels you have a carbon tub on by your feet you have these crazy bucket senna seats now again this one specifically is a very nicely specced car if you guys aren't into cars like that and whatnot the options on the car like the roof scoop are 30 grand for mclaren it's also wrapped in a full clear bra on the exterior in a matte so it's a gloss orange underneath so if you take that off it will be gloss orange but that protects the paint now in comparing the two cars that i drive it felt more raw it felt more like a, i'm taking this to the track and i'm driving it the ra feels like i can take this to the store go back and have a great time so that's something that i need to take in factor when I'm looking into this next, this series of cars is what feels more drivable when I want to and the scenarios that I want to. Now the R8 has 610 horsepower all wheel drive. The 600 LT has 595 horsepower and that is to the rear wheels, which means it spins easier. The R8, I can plan it and it just takes off. That one will spin a little bit. The sounds of the car are unmatched in just the turbo. If you're into that sound, the turbo noise and whatnot, you'll love it. But if you like the naturally aspirated V10, I know I might be using a lot of words that not everyone will understand on this channel, but power is crazy different. All right, so I wanna show you guys daily ability of these cars. I'm gonna show you me getting in this car and I'm gonna show you getting into my car and just show you the difference. So we'll come around here. The doors go up on this car, obviously, which makes it, you know, a little bit more of a flex when you get out, you go like that rather than going to the side. But when you get in, you have this seat that comes up straight solid carbon, carbon I can't talk, carbon fiber, and it sticks out here. So essentially how, this is my second time getting in it, have to lean back, squat in go down and then you have to like kind of lean on this and then you get in a lot tighter it doesn't feel that tight in the car but like getting in and let me see getting out too squeezing i mean i'm a kind of tall guy i'm six foot two so that actually is pretty decent for six foot but now let's go over to my car and we'll show you so pretty simple door goes like this like your standard door it's pretty long and for me to get in, all I gotta do is just sit down. I don't have to like go around anything. I sit down. I mean, I got so much room here. 
that would be a hard road trip car. Getting out, pretty easy, just like that. I'm used to that by now, but that doesn't seem like a road trip car to me. All right, so now we're on the interior of the car, kind of looking over like the usability and the storage in comparison to my car. It looks like we have kind of two cup holders. There's like a little one here that can maybe put your tall Starbucks cup. There's one over here. I would be kind of sketched with Alcantara to go ahead and get liquid on it. Other than that, you have a center console here that could hold a phone and like your iPhone cord. That's pretty much it. Then we have storage in the back here and you could put, you know, maybe a suitcase, a couple sneaker boxes. And then we have a camera up there that I think is a data recorder for like track days. This whole carbon fiber section that goes up here from the intake up there, actually insane. No glove box. Let's go ahead and also look at the front trunk and see what we got the front. So when it comes to trunk space, the McLaren actually has more space than the R8, surprisingly. You could fit like 10 sneaker boxes in here. Now for comparison, the R8, I have four shoes in it right now and you, there's definitely a lot more room in that car than there is in this. So I guess it makes up for the storage space in the cabin and the trunk. I'm pretty surprised on that, but the most that you're going to be carrying there is maybe a suitcase or two. I don't know if you're going to be, you know, taken to the airport or anything like that, but we're going to get back in the car. We're going to head back, give you guys some more opinions as we're driving back. now and this car drives very nicely it's very raw and rough which is the mclaren thing and that sound it, i hope you guys can hear it on camera the way that that sound is with the intake when you let off even just look up a little bit like that is incredible to just hear that all the time i can see why people love this car and a lot this car is compared to the 720 because it's in a very similar price range right now so i'm curious to see what it is i've heard most people say pick the 720 over this any day because of how much more you get out of it i don't know we'll have to see but the way that this feels is it's pretty great it definitely doesn't feel as easy to drive as that car you can get loose and lose it in this car i feel like pretty easy in comparison to the r8 this car also only has under a thousand miles which is insane very low miles but pretty much pristine So I've talked with Nick, I've talked with Gas Motor Cars, and we've kind of come to a conclusion of what we're gonna do. And we're gonna keep this series going because that specific 600 LT is a little bit above the price that I wanna go right now. Now that car is listed at 260,000 and I'm trying to bring it down a little bit. I wanna be right around 200 to 230. So I think that that's an amazing car, but it has a little bit too many options that I wouldn't want when buying a car, but it's gave me a good idea of what I wanna do. And I think the next car that I wanna do for the series is a Lamborghini Huracan Performante and a 720S maybe in one video or an Aventador too because one's actually coming here later today. So if you guys enjoyed this series, please leave a like down below and you want to see more because that lets me know that I should keep doing these. These are so fun to make. And thank you to Ventura Watches for sponsoring this video. See you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.